Hey everyone, it's Debbie Daly here. Happy Tuesday morning. It's bright and sunny here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I am coming to you this morning live. I know it's early, uh, but I'm a morning person. So I'm going to show you my kitchen renovation so far. And some, um, the reason why I'm doing this is to show you what you have to go through. Uh, some of my clients have um, kitchen renovations going on as well. So anyway, um, I want to show you how you incorporate some heirloom pieces. Um, I have some heirloom pieces from my family and some antique finds into a new renovation. And that's what makes it special and charming. And that's kind of my whole design aesthetic, even for my clients. So anyway, here we go. Um, I'm going to walk around and show you my kitchen renovation. So what you see behind me here is we wanted a coffee station. So this is our coffee station built in with the coffee cups and dishes uh, all exposed. And I'm a curd girl, if you can see that. Jamie likes espresso. And then we have all the coffee stored underneath. We're still waiting. These are our handles, if you can see that. They match our Vertigree uh, custom range hood. So um, my office, which is off the kitchen, has an antique door that we installed and that's waiting for molding. And then we walk across the kitchen here. So I'm just gonna show you this. So here is a built-in uh, china cabinet on the top, glass shelves, bevel glass doors, pantry cabinet underneath, which has our microwave inside. So we had electrical um, put in there, outlet. And so let me see this. Here is our um, microwave and then pantry underneath. And then what's really cool is those little handles I just showed you in a verdigris finish. We got the larger ones um, also, if you can see that. Um, they're kind of a green verdigris finish. There's one already on the dishwasher. So you can see that. And then these are actually going on the large doors um, for the pantry cabinetry. I can't do this. And I don't know how to flip it, sorry guys. Um, so anyway, as you go down a little further, you can see um, we just one, did one straight shot. We took an island out. These, um, we did a driftwood finish cabinet um, with two white cabinets on the ends. There's one down there. Okay, so here we go with the heirloom pieces. So this is my grandfather's farm scale that I've had since 2007. Um, I incorporated that into the new kitchen design. It was here with the old layout as well. Um, but these things make a space charming, even though it's new. So then we go down here. We have makeshift countertops right now because the um, countertop is being templated on Friday. We're keeping the same existing countertop that we had. We're just having it reworked. It's a Danby marble. We have a custom marble sink going in here. I did the paper towel roll, um, which I love. And then we kept our auger stove, uh, which is fantastic. And then there is our custom uh, verdigree range hood that we've had for about three years now. We kept that as well. And then you can see how the handles kind of and tie in with that finish, which we love. And then we come down here, and then we have our little Smeg refrigerator. Uh, so we have a little bit of a retro feel going on here. I like mixing old with new and the feel of it. <clears throat> we have another uh, workstation here, because Jamie and I both like to cook, so we've got two. Then you can see over here is the other Okay, go on doing this correctly. The other china cabinet. And so that has some LED lights inside as well. Nothing's in place yet, guys. So um, we are still waiting for moldings and sinks and that. Oh, the backsplash tile. That's what I wanted to show you. So coming over here, we have this is going to take a while, but this is our custom uh, backsplash tile. It's a glass mosaic. Uh, that brings in all the colors that we have here on the first floor. So that's going to take about six weeks after the installer templates with all the outlets and whatnot. And we submit it because it's a laser jet, um, water jet cut. 
And then this is a really cool piece. So this piece here I got is an antique. That's our island. You can see that. And I love it because I have my linens um, stored underneath here. And we have two other storage cabinets on the side. So that came from High Point, which actually um, came from France. So we had that shipped up here. So that's going to be our island um, right there as well. And then I'm going to turn over here because I did post my parents' foyer light when I grew up in the 60s. Um, I had the electrical installers install that yesterday because they are wrought iron white orbs and I love them. I've had them in storage forever. I planned on using them somewhere else, but it was perfect. So I grabbed them two days ago out of storage and the electricians actually put them up. I cleaned them, they put them up, but it's gonna work with the backslash tile opposite wall, which is fantastic. Uh, so, and those mirrors actually also I got at High Point Antique uh, Market and um, those also come from France. So uh, they work really nice with our distressed dining table, which is a door and porch post um, with glass inserts. And we, I have sea glass. I can change everything out that I put underneath here. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, I have sea glass from Shabig Island. I've got sea glass from Mykonos. And I've got sea glass on the Piscataqua River, which actually washes right up on our front beach, little beach that we have here. So anyway, this is my kitchen renovation project. I wanted to share with you how you can incorporate, if you can see that, some old with new, which makes it really unique and charming. So anyway, um, I am off. That's I hope you enjoyed it. My first live video on my Facebook page. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I am off to Boston because the Boston Design Center opened yesterday. It's my day to work um, with the design services program. So I will be in Boston all day today. But I wanted to share this with you because I thought it was fun. Um, and that way you can see the whole project and how that's coming together. We still have a ways to go and that's what happens, but we, we're through the, the worst of it right now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a, a great day and thanks for watching.